in the new episode of Sports Nation, we will visit the Burabai Resort, where the best tennis players of the Kazakhstan team. We will talk to the captain of the men's national tennis team, Yuri Shukin. We will finish the episode with a master class on functional training for those who want to get in shape quickly. Kazakhstan's resorts have never been so popular as in 2020. Not only ordinary tourists, but also professional athletes go there. The national tennis team has chosen the Burabai Resort, the gem of Kazakhstan, as the place of the training camp. The athletes trained even during quarantine. Finally, they have got out in the fresh air. It is a unique opportunity to organize a training camp in such a place, in the forest, near the lake. The air is extraordinary. So more than 30 tennis players gathered for a two-week training camp in one of the most picturesque parts of the country. For everyone, it is a great holiday because you can finally restart full training and even just talk together. It happened that some of the guys are moving from junior to adult tennis. Another uniqueness is that this time they're training together with the senior national team. Here, there is almost the entire team of the Fed Cup. Junior players are training together with the top players who have achieved great success. The very fact that the top players are here and pay attention to them is important. It's not often that you get an opportunity to watch live tennis players from the first 100 world ranking training. Here, for example, you see Yelena Rybakina, the 17th racket of the world. I train in Europe, it was difficult for me to get here. Now I've just started training. I think that in a month I will be able to participate in tournaments. I have to keep in shape, but to train and not to play is not very good. We are training for the calendar tournaments schedule. It's great that we have such joint training camps with juniors, junior tennis players. They are learning, watching our training. We play with them sometimes, we do physical training together. For them, it is a good experience. For us, it gives very positive energy. You've got to admit that the women's national team of Kazakhstan has become significantly younger. Zhibek Kulambaeva and Gözal Aynidinova have joined the team. Now the average age of the team is 23 years. Coaches do not stop looking for talents among juniors. As a captain of the women's national team, I look at them closely because they are our future national team members. The relations are being established. In the beginning, they had concerns that were not so available. They were afraid and uptight. Now they feel relaxed. It is a great experience to look for them, to watch them. You can also ask them some questions, they would be happy to answer. Any training camp is the work not only of athletes, but also of the coaches, doctors and a big team in general. The unique conditions for this kind of sport that we have in the country will allow growing a whole generation of new champions that the country will be proud of. 
новых чемпионов, которыми будет гордиться страна. Tennis is on the rise in Kazakhstan. Its availability in the regions is very important. Covered courts appear, qualified coaches come to train. Players of the national team, by their example, show that everything is possible. The main thing is to believe in a dream and not to get sick. It is difficult to make any plans for 2020. The most important thing is to stay healthy. It's the priority. Next in the episode, there is a big interview with Yuri Shukin, the captain of the men's national tennis team, about the Davis Cup, life in Kazakhstan and love for the Paris hockey team. There were victories over Gael Monfils, Jürgen Melzer and Mikhail Yuzny. The career of the former player of the national team of Kazakhstan, Yuri Shukin, was quite impressive, but he is expected to show even greater results as a mentor. For the last six years he has been training tennis players and in late 2019 Yuri took the post of captain of the national team. Hello Yuri Ivanovich, we're glad to see you. First, we congratulate you on the birth of your son. It's a great event. Hello, thank you so much. We are also very happy that the second son was born. The quarantine was not only negative after all. No, it wasn't. Today, how is big tennis in Kazakhstan going through the post-quarantine period? Kazakhstan is going through the same period as all other countries. We tried to train as much as we could. When there was a strict quarantine, it was difficult for everyone to sit at home, but we organized online training. Of course, it's not usual to spend all summer without tournaments. How is the shape of the leaders of the national team of Kazakhstan? Sasha Bublik did not perform very well in the American series. Just before the series, he came here for two weeks, but before he was ill. During this time, you lose your shape. Misha Kukushkin stayed in America. He has won the first round. He was training in Moscow with his coach all this time. Now Nikolai Davidenko is working with him. As for other guys, Dmitry Popko plays in the Czech Republic now. It is already the third challenger there. He plays on the ground. Andrei Golubev plays in Italy. Sasha Nedovesov is injured. When the quarantine began, he got an injury. Until April 2008, Yuri Shukin played for Russia. After that, he accepted the offer of the Kazakhstan Tennis Federation to change the citizenship. With his arrival, the national team completely renewed and achieved its main success. It has entered the world group of the Davis Cup. We know that you are a reformer. You have promoted the idea of creating a rehabilitation center for athletes in Kazakhstan. Yes, it was my idea. The president of the federation supported it. If the players have any problem, they always contact the center, even just for the recovery. It means they used to go abroad to do the usual diagnostics. Yes, they mostly used to go abroad. Does it mean that today the national tennis team has all the conditions to train? Yes, it has. Several times the specialists from other countries came and were surprised with the conditions. They could not believe it. The courts, fitness coaches, rehabilitation, the city in general, everything is fantastic. Friends, we're going to have a little challenge with Yuri Shukin. We do it to show what techniques are used in big tennis. Let's start the first challenge. We're throwing the ball up and it seems that we need a special technique to take it softly. Now we're going to see how to do it. Yuri, I'm going to throw it. Yes, of course. Yes, you will take it. Let's take it. 
the higher it is, the harder it is, or not. Well, there is no special difference. It can only be like this if you need to calculate where it's going to fly. Let's try. The first one did not work. It's okay. For the experiment, let me check how difficult it is. The main thing is that the ball should not jump. You have to stop it on the strings, because if it starts jumping, it is already difficult to stop it. Friends, try number one. I think I will not let you down. Here you go. Everything is super. You're gifted. In 2008, you became the first tennis player who moved from Russia under the flag of Kazakhstan. Was there any pressure at that moment? No, there was no pressure. On the contrary, Russia was cooperating with Kazakhstan at that moment. I was the first one to come. After me, in six months, Golubev and Kukushkin also joined the Kazakhstan team. The team was created in this way. Today, is it necessary to attract legionnaires to the national team? First of all, we want to raise our players. It takes a long time. Not everyone can reach this level. Let's see how the circumstances will turn out, but we bet on our local players. Each country cherishes its juniors. If someone addresses the Federation, perhaps the Federation will consider whether they can contribute anything. Our last transfer is Timofey Skatov. Yes, Timofey trains in Spain now. A lot of attention is paid to his physical and psychological training. He is training with a very experienced coach who trains such players as Igor Andreev, Bautista Agut, David Ferrer. They're all training there. He has a good team. You're always in contact with the mentors. Yes, of course. I'm always interested, especially as I trained with this coach when I played myself. At the end of 2019, you were appointed as the captain of the national team. What tasks have you been assigned? The tasks are always serious. It is important for us to stay in the highest league in the world group, to be part of the elite. We were in the top eight several times. We want to get to the semi-finals and further. Now we have one request. Can you bounce the ball on the side of the racket? I do not know how much, but I can bounce. Friends, it's my turn now. I will try to bounce the ball on the side of the racket. Try to hit this place, it's the easiest. Okay, okay, try number two. Super, this shows once again that you have good abilities. Super, you're motivating me to play tennis. Among the team members, who could perform at the Tokyo Olympic Games? We hope that Yelena Rybakina, Zarina Diaz and Yulia Putintseva would perform. We have time. All this year brings not only negative things, but also positive ones, because there is time for them to be selected. 
Ярослава Шведова also could perform if only in doubles. Отрезок времени. Из плюс, возможно, это Ярослава Шведова, то есть в парном. So is she ready to perform? А, конечно, я думаю, что она будет рада сыграть. Of course, I think she will be happy to play. As for men, it would be Sasha Bublik, Misha Kukushkin in singles. Quite a long time has passed since you finished your career. Eight years, if I'm not mistaken. Do you have a desire to play? The desire to play is always great, but I train a lot with the players. But there is no desire to compete anymore. Somehow, I've rearranged it in my head. It is very difficult, you have to be ready both psychologically and physically. You have to give a lot to play at a high level. Could you name the main match in your career? It's hard to say, there are so many such matches. Which one have you just remembered? When we beat Switzerland at home, I played with Andrei Golubev then, we played against Wawrinka and Allegro. For the first time we were in the world group, we experienced inexpressible emotions. You remember Federer shot between the legs, probably it was easy. Here you just need to throw the ball over me, I can try. Главное, чтобы это тоже могу попробовать. Юри, are you ready? Yes. From the first try, it looks pretty simple, but you need some skills. Friends, probably it's going to be one of the most difficult challenges. The task is to get into the triangle. We have set three balls, and now Yuri Shukin will try to get into this very zone. I know that you love hockey. In particular, you support Baris. Could you name the three best favorite players in the club? I always try to go to matches when I have time. I like Darren Diz, he's the captain. I like how Mikhailis plays, he's young. His father became the head coach. Roman Starchenka is very technical. Could you name three things that are most attractive to you in Kazakhstan? Firstly, it's a very beautiful country. There are mountains, there is a beautiful steppe. Moreover, people are very good-natured. My wife and I immediately noticed that here the family values are very important and it is different from Russia. Of course, food. Bešbarmak is very tasty. Yuri, thank you very much for the interview. It was a pleasure to talk with you. We wish success to the team in your reforms. Thank you very much. We will do our best. Next in the episode, Nikita Kovalev, the functional training coach, will show the exercises that will help you get in shape quickly. I have been in sports since childhood. I was brought to the sports club by my parents. We have such a dynasty. I started with martial arts, karate, kickboxing, grappling, MMA. Then I decided to do functional training because it is an integral part of any martial arts. Итак, все, что нам нужно, это найти какую-нибудь линию. Например, вот. All we need is to find some line. For example, here. Stand up so that the line is between your legs. With one foot, take a small step back. Put your hands on your pelvis. Put your blades down. Lean on the front foot. Slowly go down. The main point here is that you need to touch the front thigh with your belly. But do not slouch. 
но при этом не сутулится. Add a more difficult option. Every time you get up, you should tear off the back foot. But then again, you do not push off, but just tear it off. And an option which is slightly more difficult, take the knee forward. Make a pause, put the leg back, lunge. Pause, возвращаем ногу, выпад, вперед. Another important point is to exhale each time you make an effort. We go down, inhale, make a pause and exhale when going up. Take the same position, take a step back with one foot. We do a lunge. We turn the pelvis at an angle of 90 degrees to the side. Put the hands with a straight back, return, do a half knee bend again, turn around and get up. Try to work not on the numbers of repetitions but on time. One minute for each exercise, for each side is enough. Do not count, because when you start counting, you do not have time to follow the technique. Slowly we go down, make a turn, put our hands, go down and touch our feet on the one side, then on the other side. We work crisscrossed and return to the original position. Try to push the pelvis up, do not relax the press for a second. Let's do two press exercises. Try to sit down and hug your legs. Tear your feet off the floor. Tear your hands off your feet and put them on your head. It is important to keep tonus. If it's easy for you, try to straighten your legs. We are in the statics. Use the timer. If it is easy for you now, make a turn with the body. Touch the floor with your hand. Turn to the other side. If this option is difficult, put your feet on the floor, but only bend back a little and do the same. If you start to work out well, you can tear your feet off the floor. Or just keep statics. The next exercise is a plank on the elbows. Everybody is used to holding such a plank. We put our elbows like this. Every time we make a turn. When we make a turn, we make a small fixation on the top. This set of exercises is unique. It was aimed at the buttocks front and back hip surface. Your training endurance. Each of these options develops something different. If you need more pectoral muscles, you will do more push-ups. If you want to train your press, if you want to train your press, you will do more movements from the front leaning support. Соответственно, эм, ну, вот эти движения с упора лежа, которые мы делали, когда касались э, руками носков. According to the tradition, we end our episode with the video of the week. The boat competitions were held near the coast of Australia. It was Formula One on water. The fastest ones easily overcame the speed of 300 kilometers per hour. The race looks like this from the control cabin.